What's good guys, David Action Jackson coming at you live, representing Action Jack Fitness. And real quick, um, I want to give a shout out to me because tomorrow's my birthday. Um, I'm, I'm happy that I got my birthday off. I'm not happy about going to work today, but, um, real quick, like, because yesterday I made a video talking about protein ice cream and, like, um, donuts and, like, um, some of the, like, the recipes that I've seen on YouTube that literally mention, like, alarming amounts of, uh, sweetener. So, um, I feel like today, this video, I'm going to try to make it in under 15 minutes, and hopefully I can. But, um, yeah, so, a lot of these videos, like, I'm, I'm probably going to, like, make, um, make some donuts tomorrow morning um probably birthday cake I, I don't know exactly but um i figure i'll try like something you know as a if i don't go get like a real cake or uh some ice cream because i've been having like protein ice cream and donuts um and just like a variety of different things but I literally in each of the recipes that I've like come up with, I never put more than three grams of sweetener. And the reason being is because, you, like, when you make the um, make any of these types of foods, you want to like do all the add all the ingredients first before you do the sweetener because you want to make sure that like um you don't over sweeten it or under sweeten it. Like you want it to be like a a great taste. And the problem that I've been seeing is, like, even, like, with the cook times and, like, the blending times that most people recommend that I've seen recently, like, it, I wouldn't recommend any of it. Like, 15 minutes for cooking or 20 minutes of cooking. Maybe for, like, a pizza or, or like, um, I don't know, like, something of that, that, uh, category. But, um, not, like, with, um, like, donuts or blend like with ice cream i've seen people say a minute and a half and no more than that i don't think people realize like with the um with a ninja blender you literally have to blend like like six times like scrape and blend and scrape and blend and to get like that perfect consistency um and i feel like with like sweetener in general like it it's a hit or a miss and i'm, I'm commenting on a lot of people's videos talk, like asking them like oh why they would go with like oh um 16 grams or 20 grams even 30 grams of sweetener um it like if they felt like experienced the whole nasty aftertaste of sweetener because one of the claims that i keep hearing people say is like oh it's not going to kill you there's nothing wrong with having sweetener or blah 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 there is there is something wrong with having too much sweetener it's like it'll mess up your taste buds and i'm not saying everybody's going to experience this because you might like that you might ha have like having that taste the aftertaste i don't I don't and like to make it like completely to be completely honest I feel like it it's kind of misleading when like you um you you can recommend someone in like in a recipe list put like more than four grams of sweetener and like three is like my max but when you go like higher than that because it's like you have a big batch of something like even with protein like um like it would I want to say protein French toast because I make French toast a lot. I haven't done it recently, but that was one of my like staples to like how I got bigger. Was like I used to have a lot of French toast, um, I, I like, donuts. Like I literally would have them four to five times a week, and that I'm not talking about like in a single day. I mean like just like once a day, and like the amount of protein there in each zone because you can make them like the amount of calories. And mac other macros, either higher or lower, depending on the ingredients that you use. Um, I'm sticking to like simple because I know, um, like I've seen a couple people recommend like cream cheese frosting, and I honestly, like I feel like the cream cheese frosting, yeah, it might have more protein, but I can't do the whole like dryness. Like the, I tried it once. I tried it. Um, I think the first recipe 
that I saw was for it was like um I can't remember who who put it out. I don't know if it was recent or like a while ago, but it was cream like fat free cream treat, fat free cream cheese with um protein powder and like whatever protein powder and uh sugar free chocolate syrup. And in my mind I'm thinking I'm like it's gonna be dry. Like it, it I know it's 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 sticky, but at the same time it's gonna like kinda taste like it's gonna taste dry basically. And I've only had frosting on like any of the donuts that I've made because I've several flavors like I have pumpkin pie, um I have chocolate I've had uh, just straight up vanilla donuts. Um, I've tried to make blueberry, but I I don't have like the whole uh, the the whole like getting over like the the fruit taste necessarily. But um, I've had chocolate peanut butter. I've had peanut butter, um, cookies and cream flavored donuts. And, like, I've, I've had a couple more flavors, too. I even tried making an orange flavor. And I, I never go over three grams of sweetener. And, like, each time, because I always recommend, like, in people's comment section, like, make the recipe first, but add the sweetener last. Add the sweetener last. And I don't recommend these frostings because the frosting is the part of the, the recipe where I did just disagree totally. Like, I mean, I get it, it's more protein, which makes it more anabolic, but at the same time, it, it's just, like, dry. And, um, I feel like, like, if you stick to, like, basic flavors, like chocolate, vanilla, I won't say strawberry, because I've never had, a, like, a, a protein strawberry, or strawberry protein donut before. Even blueberry, I tried making it, but I can't get that, like, the, the, I can't get over the fact that it's with, like, fruit, you know? Like, I've had, like, a Hostess blueberry and strawberry donuts, and those are gross in general. Like, they always leave a nasty taste in your mouth. And so, I figure, like, if it's going to be like that, it's probably going to be like that with a protein powder, too. Um, but then again, like, it could just be, like, with a different protein powder, too. Because a lot of people do a lot of different things when it comes to these recipes. Now, the one thing that always makes me mad, because I've been... I just watched a few videos last night with protein donuts in them, and I don't know how it's a popular thing though, because it's like, it, it, in, in, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, it's just a donut, but like the, the times that people recommend to put these in the oven, like you first you preheat the oven, like typically, when I get done making the batter and put it in, like, um, like really finish making the batter, Right, like you get your your um your protein powder and you you I don't know if everybody does this or not, but uh, pumpkin and the um, applesauce. And if, if you don't know about pumpkin and applesauce, literally, like it'll make like the pumpkin will make the the donuts. Like it, I think with um that like chocolate protein powder, ain't like chocolate flavor protein powder will keep the the donuts looking like the like chocolate color or chocolate make it it'll look it look like chocolate but then like with other protein powders like cinnamon or like a snickerdoodle or whatever because i've i've made them with like different protein powders and even my pumpkin pie ones like the pumpkin pie one that's gonna be orange regardless because pumpkin pie protein is orange but um yeah like the it just depends like on the protein but at the same time i keep seeing like these like the the cook time way too long like i literally will cook my protein donuts for or bake them for literally like eight and a half to nine minutes and i won't go over that because it's like once you take them out like you still gotta get them out the pan some people say like spray like tss, tss, tss. i don't care if it's more like um it's calories per millisecond, decasecond, whatever seconds they go by. It is too, like, the, I want it to come out of the pan. Like, I don't have one of those pans where, like, you can bend it and it comes out. Um, I have a metal pan, a metal donut pan with six donuts in it, six donut holes. And, not donut holes, but, like, you know, donut molds. 
the little the round donut molds that's what i have and for some reason like just the the idea of like cooking it for that long doing a small amount of you know spray a non-stick cooking spray but um it doesn't sit right with me because it's like first you're recommending too long a cook time second that's not enough to like keep these donuts from sticking and then like if you cook them for too long it they're gonna come out like a hockey puck and i feel like that save people time like um set the oven for like 350 or whatever um when you get done making the batter and then put the the, the batter inside the mold and then when the oven hits that the required temperature put them in there set it for like eight to nine minutes and then you know bam but here's the problem i also have it's like the amount of like sweeter that i've seen in some of these videos is ridiculous it's like you you don't fear that you, your taste buds might not catch the, the well not catch all but like um they might be overwhelmed by just that sweetener alone so you might be eating donuts but at the same time you probably won't taste any of those other flavors just the nasty the nastiness or aftertaste of those um the, the sweetener in general um and it's just like i don't know like i feel like it's awkward that people recommend these cook times and the amount of sweetener that they apparently like i wouldn't do that i would not recommend more than three to four grams of sweetener because like every time i tell like people like oh um and i've told people like, outside of youtube because i even like in the comment section i've been commenting on like hundreds of videos just of, on these two items protein donuts and protein ice cream and like some people like because i guess they um review other people's recipes and the they they aren't happy with them and i'm always like because i i think i've seen two videos two or three videos where the like someone in the comment section out of the thousands of comments that these people get someone will literally ask are they even reading their comment section are they even trying these foods and it's like I, I i understand it i understand it because it's like some of these people like they'll put the recipe out and then you think like okay i can make that you make it and it doesn't come out exactly how they made it and that's what i'm worried about it's like because i have like my little protein i have some protein donor recipes on here in my little booklet um i pulled out most of the other pages because like this the these also have recipes on them it's like seven or eight pages right here front to back with recipes on them and then like um i have was these too there's like six pages that have recipes on them and like i just feel like a lot of time when most of the people that create these recipes even with ice cream like i've been so disappointed with some of these videos because i'll watch them and then in my mind i'm like i'm not gonna make that I, I would try it, but I'm scared to make it because they're they're not aware that these recipes are trash. But anyways, um, yeah, two things I could like give you guys two pieces of advice. Don't put too much of the sweetener because yeah, people can say like, oh, it's not gonna harm you. There's nothing wrong with eating a sweetener. Have as much or as low as you want. That's not a good message. Like that'll mess up your taste buds all the way. Have sweetener it. Cause sugar free is like I guess that's a thing right now. Um, I'm literally trying to be sugar free because, like, um, having a pacemaker. Like it, it, your cardiovascular system, isn't functioning properly, and so. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to not have high blood pressure and all the other things that come with it, but um, or all the other things that you have to be aware of after getting a pacemaker but um yeah so the just be be aware of that like the sweetener content and like prep time not prep time but cook time and uh other things but yeah that's it um i hope this video is informational and i'll see you guys in my next video i'm david action jackson commercial lab representing action jack fitness i'll see you guys later i'm out please do hit that like button and subscribe, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.